Right, welcome back to the vlog. And um, there's a big bridge over there, and it takes us from where we are now to Sweden. That's Rob going. He's on his own little adventure now and we're going to see him back in Poland. So, see you later buddy. Take care of yourself. Should we go over that bridge? Why not? Cool, let's do it. So, we're in Sweden. It cost a lot of money to get to Sweden, but at least we're in Sweden. There was no checks or anything like that. No, not even a passport check. No. Can't but beat the view, mind. View's pretty cool. Good morning, folks, and welcome to Sweden. So I found this little park up just the other side of um, the bridge, really. Um, it was just a case of come over last night, leave it late on in the day, and hope that um, that meant that it'd be an easier crossing and that worked out really well actually no border control or anything so it's straight over no issues um apart from the 108 euro price tag but i guess you pay that for a ferry crossing of that distance as well epic bridge it went under a shipping lane and over a shipping lane so yeah and now we're at this little uh, waterside little park up uh, there's a little surf cafe a few other little campers around with us as well and um, today we're heading up towards Stockholm. So we're going to go and have a look around Stockholm. Um, and it's a bit of a uh, surprise for you. We're going up and over the top, back down Finland. Oh, there you go. Change number one to the route. No longer a crossing here. We're going to go up and down, as they say, the long way round. So yeah, it's going to be uh, Arctic Circle, Lapland, that kind of trip. Because we figured we're so close. And we were going to do this um, Scandinavia trip with a group of other people. But that's looking like that might be a few years off yet. So we thought, as we are so close, let's just get to it. Get on it. Go and enjoy it. Are you excited? I am. What more excited about Sweden? Or putting the Swedish flag on. Putting the Swedish flag on. <laughs> oh, we've not done a new flag for a very long time, have we? No, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> when was it now? When we went to Gibraltar, I think maybe? Jib, I think, was probably yeah. the last new one. Yeah. Mm, right. So we're going to make a spot for it then? Yeah, you better get your cleaning stuff out. Ooh, I'm good at that. <laughs> Come on then. Yeah. So, there we go, new flag day, and, as far as we're concerned, country number seven. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Nice. So we've got a few more to add to that. We might have to um, start layering up over the top or something <laughs> soon. So first observations on Swedish driving. Um, the speed limits are much lower. So around town it's like 25 miles an hour. Um, and then that stretches to about 30 miles an hour in more rural kind of villages um, and then possibly up to 50 miles an hour on the average rural road and if you're really lucky uh, you might get it's kind of like 60 miles an hour so that's like um, 90 kilometers an hour thereabouts but there's usually a separated kind of barrier between the lanes even though it's single lane either side uh, motorway is 110 uh, which is 70 miles an hour so yeah much more um, controlling of speed and the speed cameras are everywhere tiny little sort of slim posts at the side of the road as well 
This has certainly taken me longer than I thought it was going to because I've had to translate absolutely everything. There are a few things that have got English on them perfectly well, which is obviously ignorant of me and brilliant for the Swedish to make sure that that's done. So thank you very much, Lidl. Um, I've got my cola, um, my Freeway Zero, and some Swedish delicacies, meatballs and frikadellen and some other bits and bats of things, and chocolate-covered cheese crisps. So yes, I'll see how those go down in the van. So our first Swedish haul, and... Um what Swedish food have we got? Meatballs! Meatballs! Uh, one of our things is to go to an Ikea and see if we can have meatballs, chips and gravy, see if it's different. Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure. Swedish meatballs, schnitzel. I know that's more German. Not technically that, but it seemed to be lots of it in there. Oh, Frickadella. Frickadella, which I think is also a, a German thing, but yeah. it's in English. I could read that oh. bit. Um, Wieners. Broiler chicken. Yeah. Um, and then these, <laughs> really cool. Oh yeah, is with ham and cheese. Yeah. Excellent. So it's in a pack and you just fry it up. Cool. I figured that bit. Um, sweet mustard. Oh, we do like sweet mustard, don't we? I've not had any of that since the... I uh, know what's coming next then. What? No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. There's what? some bread around, isn't there? There is some pretzels, yeah. It was the pretzels that made me do it, yeah. I must admit. Pretzels and sweet mustard. It's literally the bomb, isn't it? It's probably more of a Bavarian thing rather than a Swedish <laughs> thing. <then. laughs> I'm all confused. We've been into so many countries, and of course, but big cans, so I'll have to rearrange my fridge. Oh, yeah, Freeway Coke Zero. I've not had that since uh, Spain, was since it? Spain, yeah. And I know in England everyone said they can get Freeway Cola, but you can yeah. only, I've only ever found Diet Coke or Diet Cola or full fat cola. I've never yeah. found the zero, and the zero is the one we like. So. And just for everyone that's not watched us for that long, new people here, um, Mandy likes to challenge me now and again, see if I can tell <laughs> the difference between brand stuff or not brand, stuff. brand stuff. And this stuff was a, a you couldn't tell the Spain difference. Spain last could you? Year. Yeah, yeah, in Spain. They did I have like those little one. shells as well that in there that we tried, you know, that were like the... Um, oh, the guana chocolate yeah. ones. And you didn't buy them? No, I didn't. Oh my God. That's a good girl. Okay. I did, however, buy chocolate covered cheese crisps um okay chocolate covered cheese crisps mm. right oh well let's give those a go later then <laughs> so right. uh, good let's stuff pack up and um carry on yes we got everything here at least to stay alive and the time that we share makes it all worthwhile Fresh morning this morning. Coop's out having a play. Got down to about four degrees last night, so we've had the heezer on. And in case you're wondering as well, that's obviously for sort of boat rescue when it's water. Um, and that, which is hooks and a ladder and that kind of thing and a ring, um, that's for rescue when it's not water and it's frozen in the winter. But can you imagine this stuff in England? That'd be wrecked. There wouldn't be bins and toilets there. There'd be litter all over the place. Someone would have nicked the ladders, probably something like that. 
I would imagine the reason why they're upright is so that you can see them uh, when it's thick in snow. You've got benches there, down the bottom there you've got a fire pit. It's such a, such a nice uh, place, you know, for them to do all this. We've got a toilet, we've got bins, awesome views, mega internet. It's on the flat, Coop's got somewhere to go. There's no one around. Oh, you got to love it. Hey buddy, how you doing? Been having fun? Do you like Sweden too? Is it your favourite place? Oh, is it? You really like Sweden? Yeah. So a couple of things to um, say, mention so far. Swedish roads are the smoothiest, smoothiest. Smoothiest, John. <laughs> smoothest thing for you to say. <laughs> the smoothest roads I have ever driven. The sat nav saying turn off road onto gravel road or dirt track or something. And we came down these forest roads. Even the forest roads are blinking nicer than some of the roads around Britain. So yeah, really nice attention to detail. Much appreciated. Thank you very much Sweden for your wonderful road network. And the other thing to point out is um um probably only about two or three days ago i remember editing a video recently about it we were in uh Giethorn, i think it was talking about the weather and it was 23 degrees and we're all really warm it's um it's eight degrees here right now it's a, it's a little chilly isn't it it's not warm it's not warm it's not warm was a lovely night stop that was uh, really really peaceful I was expecting to um, get a little freaked out because it does seem like this like bear country or moose country or things like that that would be around us and I would have actually been really excited to see all of that from the comfort of inside the van but uh, nothing I don't think you would ever want to look at a bear next to the van oh no no not next to the van just be able to see it from the van <laughs> and it not realize that we're there way. yeah just so i can see it and that's that's fine there is a life i lead in this city hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone So, what about this for a spot then? What have you found? That has just scared the shit out of me. Oh, a snake. He's just gone across the path. It's getting the bejesus out of Coop, so I had to get him to one side. Okay. <laughs> just, just there, yeah. And what is John's favourite thing not? Um, snakes. All right then. So, yeah. Just stay around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lovely spot. It's beautiful. For the very first time in a long time, we've used the chocks as well to try and get a bit level because otherwise it was a bit odd. But I wanted to try and get out of the way of the trees there because they were dropping down. I do have to say something though. What's that? Epic driving on the way here. Yeah? Oh, thank you, darling. Yeah, I mean, those roads were, well, as you can see, they're very gravelly, and sort bit, of rutted roads. And this bit is wide considering. Yeah. I must admit though. The van, yeah, with its ground clearance. I don't think I'd, I think I'd have struggled because there was loads of times when it was down on one side. Yeah, the camber, with the big hump of the gravel in the middle. So uh, I think it, it's good that we've got as much ground 
clearance. I think he's comfy. I think he's wanted to stay, doesn't he? Yeah. Obviously he wasn't bothered by the snake. Well, I'm going to go off the usual thing about snakes. Yeah. There was no bright colours. Nope, it's so very dark. So they're not venomous then. He says, we believe this is a member of the family of colubrid snakes. So it's but a grass snake. couldn't, couldn't identify the exact species. So, <laughs> we are going in are for now? the cheesiest snack. Oh, interesting. So they like twiglets with milk chocolate on. Well, I think they like the cheesy crisps that we like from France. It's not horrible, but... I can't taste cheese. Can you taste cheese? Kind of. I'm getting savoury and sweet. Swedish chocolate cheesy crisps. Yes or no? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mine then. <laughs> it's bloody raining. You guys have got to come here fishing. So, that is a smokehouse. That is a fish. If you're in the fishing club, you get to go in there, and there is a disabled toilet. But look at this. Look. So, you can make a fire and you can cook on there, and there's a gutting table, and there's something around the back as well, so you can do the gutting out of the way. Um, apparently, the wolves around here really like it, not to want to put you off. Um, there is free wood. Uh, the, the fisheries guy was around yesterday, so we were talking to him. Um, and that's normally full of wood and it is free to use if you are a license holder. So if you just get a day permit, which is like £3.83, um, you get use of the wood and the smoker and all of the facilities. There's picnic benches everywhere. You've got, this is a disabled peg. There's a, a peg off to the corner over there. There's a chap on the edge over there who is fishing. And you see these, these little huts all the way around the, the thing. Apparently it's 3.2 kilometres from the car park and other car parks um, around everywhere to get to the, all the different fishing pegs and huts. And each one of the huts has got wood and the cooking thing on it. Honestly, it's amazing. So for the Prince of Summer, £3.83 and the little drive to Sweden, there is some awesome fishing. But look, it's literally as quiet as anything. It is absolutely beautiful. And very quick, a little bit of a look around the site we're on. We've just stopped just outside Stockholm. And I say just outside, it is a bit naturey just outside. We're hoping we get a chance to ride the bikes in. This place is Stalplatz Stockholm. And it's a motorhome only air kind of thing with all the facilities that you might want to have. It's got a automatic bit, 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 bit. You get your little card which is in my other pocket, which is typical. Um, and that gets you into everything once you're in. A recycling centre. There's the drive over grey waste, toilet emptying facilities there. This is the card you get when you, um, when you check in. We have a whole row of showers here. So, let's get in there. A proper shower with two shower heads, a shower door, a seat, and loads of room. I tried to use my card to open this before and it didn't work, but washing up facilities, lovely and clean. That is the disabled toilet here. Another one of these is a family bathroom with changing rooms, which is lovely. And also spotlessly clean. 
And then this side, we have a bank of toilets, all unisex. Again, you need your little bit there. And then the toilets, you have, it's heated, because the heat should hit me in the face. Toilet, basin, soap, hand towels, and toilet roll. So everything that you need. And it locks on the inside, and there's a little button you have to press that releases the thing, I think, that this does as, uh, as you come out. There's your freshwater reel. So apparently, over that way, there is a lovely lake and there is a beach on it. So me and Coop are going to go out for a walk to the beach, do that while it's stopped raining for a little bit, leave Mr. John doing what Mr. John does well. Can we guess what that is? What are you doing, babe? Um, I am editing and doing social media. Because that's what I live for. Because that's what you live for. I drive as well. And, and he drives. And what do I do? What do we do, Coopy? we go for a walk? Is right there? Wait there. So, we're going to go for a walk to the lake, aren't we? That'd be good. Can you wait there a minute? Right, off to the lake we go. Good boy. Go on then. Go this way. This way. Down the steps. Come on. Oh, look at that. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool, it's like a little sea. Look. That's why we're not going in there, boots. Slippy slimy. This isn't what it's supposed to be like today. It wasn't supposed to be like this. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to be getting on the bikes and going into Stockholm today. It's, it's not the right back. weather for, for cycling in, so it'd be, um, it wouldn't be what we wanted then. And there's no way we can get in with a dog from where we are at the minute. No. So it is. And I wouldn't want to walk around in the rain anyway, really. So. No, that's what I mean. It's <laughs> just going to, it's not going to be as nice as we thought it would. So I don't want to do a half assed effort. Yeah. I'd like to do. I'd like to use my whole ass and wow. and, and do it properly. Okay, okay. <laughs> there you go, folks. <laughs> right. So actually, what we're uh, doing now is we're going to set off and we're going to do another three three and a bit hour stint. Yep. And um, head up Sweden. Yes. And tonight's park up is actually coastal, so it's going to get a bit Baltic. <laughs> but first, time to shit us full. Uh, yeah, we need to do services. <laughs> we need to uh, empty the loo and get fresh water because it's been about two weeks since we last got water and we're a bit low on that. Yep. So yeah, get that shit done. <laughs> <laughs> you swore. You said shitter. Is that actually a and swear you said word? Because well. ass isn't a swear word. Vote down below, please. Which is more offensive as a swear word, shit or ass? <laughs> Bear in mind that one comes out of the other. <laughs> okay. Yeah, vote below. Vote below. <laughs>
absolutely stunning. Sweden, you are not disappointing on the beauty at all. Just amazing. Thank you.